Hello, welcome to this tutorial. Now, in this exercise, I'm going to need some reference images. I found on the web these two images and I just cropped them in Photoshop and I prepared them for the project. So I will leave them in the description below so that you can download them, so don't worry. Okay, let's start. First things first. We go to plasticity and we go to the front view. And in the front view, I'm just going to drag and drop the picture so it should stay on, on the point where I need it. I'm going to move it to the back. I'm going to delete the cube. And I'm going to make this material with M. I'm going to press it on front and I'm just going to lower the opacity to around 30%. I'm going to put front only. This makes that when I am on the front, it is going to show, but if I move to the back, it's invisible. Now I go to the side view and I just drag and drop, doesn't matter where, the picture. So I already prepared them. As you see, they are matching. So I'm going to do the same. Front, opacity down, and front only. Okay. So now this we need to move somewhere else. Okay, great. So now we have these reference images. And what I need to do is I'm going to draw these lines that are on the helmet. So this line and this line as well. There are some tricks that I need to show you so that you don't have any troubles on the future when you want to make some, some sort of this surface modeling. Okay, so first things first, we need to draw some lines. The lines that we need in this case are the control point curve. So I'm going to select them and I'm going to start drawing only the half, but this is important. On the last point that is going to intersect with the set axis, I need to make the, the two points exactly horizontal. So for example, I'm just going to click here and I'm going to move with the purple guide that will appear on your screen to the intersection. I'm going to draw the same thing on the other side, horizontal, and then just these points I'm just going to put somewhere here. And I just need to accommodate them. So in this case, I'm going to press GG and just move them around. Maybe this point we move here. Try to make your models with the least points as possible. This is also something that saves time and troubles. Okay, I think we have the first line. So now what we need to do is I'm going to draw the second lines here. So I'm pressing the control point curve, pressing something somewhere here, 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 and exactly horizontal again. And now to the other side. So we have these lines already, maybe this a bit above. Okay, something like this doesn't need to be perfect for this tutorial, just that, you sh just that you see how it's done or how I did it. Okay, now these two lines are in the center, so I need to move them to the vertex or to the edge side of the helmet, so to this point here. What we need to do is we just need to make them curve or follow the curvature, this curvature here, the inside. So I'm grabbing these points and these ones too. So you have the lines like this. You see that they are a bit wobbly, but it is okay. Okay, what is next? Now, there is the line that we need is this one. So I'm going to draw another control point curve. So I'm drawing this line somewhere so. Okay. Now we follow somehow this curvature, but it is not in the center. So we just need to move it to match it, these points. So it is important that you see that these vertex are green. This means that they are overlapping. So this is good. This is what we need. So now that we have all these lines, we need to connect the lowest part of the, of the curvatures. But if we just do it like this, you will see that it's going to make a problem because these lines are not finishing on the same level. It is important that they are horizontal, touching the floor, each and one of them. So it's relatively simple. We just scale them on the set and press zero. And now they are completely flat. So the trick I want to show you will solve you a lot of troubles. It's just a matter of connecting these 
points with guidance with guidelines. So you will understand when you see. You press Shift A to create a line, and you just draw it from this curve to the back. So you see it's it's drawing perpendicular in the direction that we just want. We draw another line to the back from here to the back. I'm, gu I'm guiding myself with the purple guides. So now from here, what I need to do is I'm going to select this line, this line, and these two lines and hide everything else with shift H. So from here, it's relatively simple. We go to the vertex and select these two vertices and press L to bridge. I want to tap, tap so that everything is in G0. And from here, we can know which line needs to be in G1. So if we press G1, you see that this one goes down and this is incorrect. So, okay, we need to go to the other one. And you see that it's drawing horizontal, exactly in the direction that we need. And this is going to solve a lot of troubles later. And I'm going to select these two vertices in the back, tap, tap for G0. And I'm going to check which one this one goes in the other direction. This is incorrect. And this one goes correct. So it, I'm going to accept. So now we need to draw the same bot with the line that is here in the middle. So for this, I'm going to select a line and draw it to the back like this. And from here, we do the same. Select this line, hide everything else. And we just connect them with L. Tap, tap, G0. This one goes way out of the tangent. This is not correct. And this one connects exactly how we need. Okay, so what we need to do here is exactly the same thing. We grab this line and this line. And I'm going to press Shift H to hide everything else and draw a line that goes from here to the back. And this one and this one, I'm going to bridge. So tap zero. So once you draw the line, you will see that this we don't need anymore. And we have everything connected. This you don't need to worry about because we were going to cut up to here. So it doesn't matter. That's why we did it longer. Okay, this line we also don't need and this line we also don't need. So we have all these lines. And what we need to do now is we are going to connect these two so that we have this curvature here. So we do exactly the same process. We come here, we draw the line. From here to here, we hide everything else and just bridge them and check we need. Okay, so this one is not correct because it goes through way above this line. So it needs to be this line. And if it's correct, it should be drawn perfect. Okay, it matches. Okay, so now we have basically the skeleton of the helmet. This is what we need for. This is what we need. Okay, so now let's, we need to make the patches. So now we need to select these two lines, extrude them to the back. And what we need is to hide these two lines and select this, 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 and this, and patch it. Now we want G1. Now we need to do the same on the other side. But for this, we need to join these two sheets when it is important that you join them. So it is joined now one single piece. When you are going to patch it, you can hide this blue line. And you will have this black edge, the black edge and these two blue curves. So I'm going to patch them and tap for G1. It is important that for this to work, that all the pieces are joined together. So I'm going to accept. What else can we do? Okay, let's patch this side. So I'm going to hide these two lines. And this line, it is important that I do exactly the same thing because I want here to be smooth. We can go from here, extrude it to the back, hide this line, and this blue curve and this black edge with this blue curve, we can just press patch hole and G1. So now you see that this is working correctly. And we do the same thing here. We grab this black edge, the blue curve, and this curve, and patch it. 
tab for G1. Okay, from here we can delete these faces and we need to join these two pieces. So I'm going to press here and here. I press J to join. Now it is not joining, but in this case we can press Q and Q and now it's joined. So now it is a single piece. So now we can just mirror it and join it. Okay, perfect. So how does it look? It looks smooth where it needs to be smooth and harsh, hard when it needs to be. Great. So what else can we do? We can make the hole here for the visor or the for the eyes. So in this case, I'm going to create this line, the control point curve. I'm going to go here and I just draw it from this curve to this other curve that it is intersecting. And then from here, I just accommodate the curvature. I'm going to draw another line somewhere here. And the same, just accommodate it. And from here as well. But in this case, I want that it's crossing down. So I'm going to here and then I'm going here. And I'm going to imprint it. So I press, in my case, Shift I to imprint curve. And you will see that now you have the visor but it is going too far behind. So in this case, I'm going to draw another curve line and that connects somewhere here to the edge. Now, I don't want that these curves are touching each other or crossing each other. So I'm going to draw it like this. I'm pr imprinting it as well. So now it's much better. So I'm selecting this face, this face, delete it. So now we have the opening of the visor and then I'm going to just delete the rest. Now these curves we can, I don't know, maybe let's group them and hide them. Now it is important that you select this piece and delete the redundant topology. So I press F redundant and now it is much cleaner. So now we are almost ready with our helmet or at least the big part of it. What we can do now is just mirror it and join them with Q and Q. So see, now it's grabbing the shape. It's exactly what we look for. Now, what else can we do? I'm going to give the volume of the helmet. So for this, I'm going to Shift D to duplicate it and scale it. So I'm just scaling it somewhere like this. Okay. I think this reference image we don't want to see for the moment. So what can we do now is just Grab all these lines and all these lines with Alt or Option and press L to Loft in G0. And then we just need to join everything. So now it is a solid. It's perfect for what we need for. It's looking quite good. So what else can we do? So I think I will continue with the ears. So for this thing, I go to the front view. I draw a circle somewhere here in the middle. And I press V to draw it on the other direction, somewhere here. Okay. Now I'm going to offset the face with three. I go like this. And on the front view, I'm going to, on the with the white circle, I'm going to scale it somehow that the same size, like the guide. And we just move it here to the right, just to match a bit. Now, I don't like it that it is going quite straight, so I'm going to rotate it a bit. So, for example, that it somehow follows the, the, the curvature. The circle we don't need anymore. And this face from the circle, let's grow it a bit more. And what we need to do now is I'm going to select the cylinder and the helmet and press Q and then Shift Q again, so that we have separate pieces. I'm going to, to grab this piece, delete it, and this part and this part, I'm going to merge it. So Q and Q. So we have this piece as a different object. Okay, great. So now let's make some details on the ears. So for example, I grab this face, press O to offset and 
somewhere like this. This face, maybe we can just push it inside. So, and we just make some details here. And here, and this face, I'm going to offset again. Grab this face and offset. Here you can invent whatever you want. Just making something, for example, I'm going to push it a bit. And then here I'm going to offset and maybe offset again, going out. And so, so we have some details. So now I'm going to draw a corner rectangle, pressing C. So I'm selecting this and the face, I'm going to extrude it a bit down. Okay. So what else can we do? Maybe this face, we can grow to this point. We can just, I don't know, make something softer. For example, there. So now what we can do is make a radial array. Ah, in this case, is just, you can do it with more piece. I just try to do it a bit fast for the tutorial. Going to radial array it on the center and maybe make some design like this. Okay. So now we have part of the ear. What else can we do? Ah, maybe this line, I like it. So I'm going to, going to draw an offset somewhere here and then another offset to here. And this face, I'm going to just to make it smaller. Okay, perfect. What else do we need? We need the mohawk that this Mega Man has. So for this, I'm going to draw a circle. Draw a circle, move it somewhere to the center. And we need to scale it. Okay, something like this. Now I'm going to move it to the center. I'm going to press Shift T to duplicate it and I'm going to scale it just a bit down. Because I want that it also has a curvature as well, this mohawk. And then lastly, we're going to draw another mohawk, move it to here and scale it. Somewhere there. Okay. So this two, this uh, mohawk, I'm going to hide everything else. This I'm going to extrude and hide it. So I'm going to, from here to here, I'm going to press L to loft with G1. And from here to here, I'm going to loft with G0. Okay. This face we don't need. And this we also don't need. These lines I'm going to delete. And I'm going to join these pieces, mirror them, and join them. I'm going to convert it to solid. So I select these two lines, love with G0, and everything I join. So now you see it is a solid. From here, let's draw a line. It needs to go through the object. Pressing Shift A to draw from here to here. And I'm just cutting the pieces. So I grab this, this, and this, and delete. And now I have this piece. Okay, so these lines we don't need. Now I start to have piece of the mohawk. So now we need somehow this crystal. So I'm going to draw something quick. I'm going to draw a circle. And I'm going to draw it from here to this side, something like this. And then I'm going to draw a line that goes from this tangent up and from this tangent of the circle up. So I'm going to trim it. So press T. So now we should have this piece like this. And from here, I'm going to imprint it on the helmet. So I'm going to hide this reference. It's distracting too much. Okay, so I'm grabbing this piece and I'm going to imprint it. Great. So now you see that I have the shape of this um, crystal. So what I can do is maybe draw another line from here to here and imprint it as well. 
So now I have why I did it so that I have only this piece to extrude. So for example, I don't know if I do it like this, ah, it works. Okay, perfect. So I'm going to draw it somehow like this side, this guide side on it. And I'm going to select these edges and I'm just going to make a hard fillet. Okay, something like this. Just inventing something here. Okay. Now this face, I just push it a bit down. So now I have the crystal. I think I like it like this, a bit round from here on the center. Now these pieces are going to be in one object. You can separate them, but I think I will just leave it like this to speed up. I want to mirror this piece here. And we are almost finished. What else do we need to do? Uh, maybe these lines are too harsh. So I'm going to make a chamfer, maybe soft chamfer. Maybe this one as well, a bit soft. And this one as well. Okay. Mm, this I'm not convinced. I will leave it like this. Or maybe like this. Okay, perfect. Um, I'm going to delete the redundant topology. Okay. Now I think we have our Mega Man helmet. It looks good. Uh, these pieces I forgot to... Now these pieces as well, I'm going to mirror them. So, perfect. Ah, but something important I'm watching here Mega Man normally has like an M. So you see, he has this kind of M on the helmet. So this is like a blue, light blue color. So let's try to do it. So we come to the front view and we draw a control point curve from here. We draw it somewhere here. Okay. Now from here, I'm going to draw it from here to here. Okay, so we have this line and this line. And I'm going to imprint them. So now you see that I have this M. So from the side we come, we draw this control point curve and draw something like this. This kind of shape. So this, we imprint it. And now we have this face and this face. We're going to make a shift D. And then from this, I'm going to thicken it. So I'm going to press F and F and thicken. We just thicken it a bit, not so much. I think this is good. And we just mirror it. Perfect. So now we've, I think finally we have most of our helmet. So you see now that it is everything what we need, but there is only one little detail here. We need to cut this part of the helmet. So I'm just pressing a line going from here to here and just cut it. So, and this piece too. So I'm cutting it here. And the other part is cutting. So these lines we don't need. So now we just need to delete the redundant topology. So we are almost finished. There is only this little detail that we have to deal with. So either we leave it here, but let's try to fix it. So we press here and here, Q and Shift Q to see if it's deleting this piece inside. And yes, it is deleted. We just merge this two, and we have it there. Now we have our Super Mega Man helmet. I like it. I think we just need to go now to Blender, make some materials, some lights, the same thing as usual, and we are done. So for this, I'm going to just draw this line here and make a fillet. So this is going to help the illumination process. And I'm going to select this line, extrude it, and move it in the middle. So 
there we have it we have our helmet now we we need to go to blender okay so now we are in blender what we need to do is delete the cube and we just connect it to plasticity so i'm going to refresh the connection great look how it looks it's looking awesome yes i like it okay so we need to add some materials so for this i'm going to just change it to cycles and gpu and i'm going to make my lights the same lights i always use so i'm going just to make a quick lightning rig with area a light here i'm going to make it i don't know 200 yes yeah, something like this now one on the side and just another one on the other side see now it's getting a bit of contrast okay what else do we need maybe let's make the materials so for example i grab this new material and make it Mega Man blue yeah i think so now it needs to be more metallic and let's make something here on this one let's make this new material and make it a blue Mega Man, but clear yeah, maybe a bit lighter okay so metallic Uh, we do the same for this side, so I'm just linking the materials. For this one, I'm going to as, as well link the materials. Let's make the ear. So I'm going to make a new material and it should be blackish. So, but I want to be like a bluish dark and more metallic. Let's let's rough. Yeah, I think so. So now here inside, um, I would, for example, maybe let's let's select these faces. Yes, and just make a new material. I don't know, let's make it uh, red. Maybe it also gives some light. So Mega Man is on, okay. These ones, these ones I'm going to select the material red. Or maybe black let's let's stick with black okay now we do the same here and i'm just going to assign them the red material okay so it's almost finished now we just need to color the the gem here on the front in the front and i think we are done now we could have just separated this object in plasticity, but I want it to be a bit faster. So let's do it like this. Okay, and I just assign this new material, the red gem. So I think it's looking okay. So we select the camera and make the view. That's how we want it. So camera to view. Now the camera normally I don't like to have it so little millimeters because it looks so elongated. So what I want to do is to make it a bit flattish. So for example, I always like to make it then around a hundred millimeters. Before we make the render, I want to make a bit of emission here on the back so that it's looking a bit better. And I don't know, maybe bluish and more metallic so let's see how it looks so now it's still rendering but i think i like it the materials you can also make your own versions i think for a stylish helmet i think it's okay the the gem here on the front probably i would make it a bit smaller just a bit narrow but otherwise i think i like it i would add more details to the helmet maybe some lines here on the middle maybe some text, I don't know, just experiment, try it, and I hope you like it, and I think, and at this point, I think we can say, ex luto ad aureum. Until next time, thank you.